Airstream Land Yacht by Ken Babstock. Here we find a poet who can do almost anything, both formally and in his exploration of such subject matter as romantic love, landscape, the body, the city, physical pain, and a joyful awareness of the sensory details of a world full of marvels and riddles. Yet no matter what his subject matter is, or how he chooses to approach it, he never settles for effect. Babstock can be terse, darkly funny, tender, wise, mysterious, but he is always fresh and always honest. If I get asked by the popular media one more time if poetry's dead, I'm going to go postal. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's alive and well. The poem's called Compatibilist, and uh, compatibilism is just the, is the idea that a determinist universe and free will are compatible. Um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> compatibilist. Awareness was intermittent. It sputtered and some of the time you were seen asleep. So trying to appear whole, you asked of the morning, is he free who is not free from pain? It started to rain a particulate alloy of flecked gray. The dogs wanted out into their atlas of smells, to pee where before they had peed and might well pee again, though it isn't a certainty. What is? In the set called Phi, of all possible physical worlds resembling this one, in which, at time, T, was written, is he free who is not free, and comes the cramp. Do you want to be singular, on stage, praised or blamed? I watched a field of sunflowers dial their ruddy faces toward what they needed and was good. At noon, there were chalices upturned, gilt-edged, and I lived in that same light but felt alone. I chose to phone my brother, over whom I'd worried, and say so. He whispered, lacked affect. He'd lost my record collection to looming debt. I forgave him, through weak connections, through buzz and oceanic crackle, immediately, without choosing to, because it was him I hadn't lost, and later cried myself to sleep. In that village near Dijon, called Valley of Peace, a pond reflected its dragonflies over a black surface at night, and the nuclear reactor's far-off halo of green light changed the night sky to the west. A pony braid, stamping a hoof on inlaid stone. The river's reeds lovely but unswimmable. World death on the event horizon. Vigils with candles in cups. I've mostly replaced my records and acted in ways I can't account for cannot account for what you're about to do. We should be held and forgiven. Thank you all for listening.